Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergaga.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to create a picture bullet for your PowerPoint presentations. And on screen, I just have one slide to use as an example where I have some facts about bananas. And what I would like to do is instead of these kind of dark green circle bullet points, I would like to use a picture of a banana for my bullet. So I'm going to start by highlighting the bullet points. I'm going to move into the drop down arrow, whoops, not that, <laughs> the drop down arrow next to my bullets button on the home tab. I'm going to skip past some of their sample bullet styles and go for the bullets and numbering option at the bottom. From here, I'm going to click on the picture button, which in PowerPoint 2013 is going to load up this area. If you're on a different version of PowerPoint, it may look slightly different, but not anything too crazy. And what we want to do, either way, whichever version, is browse for a picture file to use, or potentially search online for one. Now, I have a picture of a banana on my desktop ready for this so I'm going to select that and insert and it is now applied to the highlighted cells so it may make sense to use these steps on the master slide of your presentation as opposed to the way I'm doing it in normal view right now to this slide but whatever the scenario that now assigns those bullet points which is all very lovely I'm quite proud of that I think it looks quite nice However, you know, depending on the size of the picture, there's no set rule here. But in this example, it's very close to the text. There doesn't appear to be any spacing. And it's also made the last bullet point look a little bit silly. With the fact that the indentation is, is, is no longer aligned. So, I'm going to highlight those bullet points. And take this a step further. By opening up the paragraph dialog box which I'm going to do by clicking this little arrow in the bottom right corner of that paragraph group. From here, I'm going to change the two indentation settings. So I'm going to change this setting one to, let's say, 1.2 centimeters. And I'll also increase the other one to 1.2. So the two lines of a bullet that spans multiple lines um, will both be aligned neatly and very nicely and also increase that gap which currently the uh, the 0.68 whatever it was before is not quite enough i'm going to click ok and now i've just created that slightly bigger space in there a little bit more clarity to what i'm trying to display on my slide but also i've aligned that bo bottom bullet point up very nicely looks much more professional very easy in the eye very easy to read when this is up uh, projected or, or displayed or maybe some big screen and that is this tutorial on creating a picture bullet points for your PowerPoint presentations I hope you find it useful please check out some of the other videos on our YouTube channel and check us out at computergaga.com